Hello folks. <clears throat> I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I had a fantastic day today. I went down to or went up to Dade City, Florida. It's about an hour and ten minutes from my house. It goes to the Florida Pioneer Museum and Village. And at the Pioneer Museum here, they had uh, of course different artifacts from late 19th century, early 20th century, and uh, exhibits on Civil War, and a little bit about uh, World War II. There was a lot of World War II bases in the area, training uh, fighter pilots. And they had all these buildings in the village, like they had a, um, like a blacksmith shop in the general store and uh, an old house school and one of the places they had was an old church building uh, I'm not going to mention the denomination you can look it up as yourself but uh, I went there and I was enjoying the architecture and I was enjoying just the old feel of it. I was a, have a degree in history, so I'm, I'm attracted and I can to, to things like that. And I got in the railing, stood behind the pulpit, and looked out across the now empty pews, and I thought about all the weddings that had gone on there and all the funerals in the Bible school classes and reciting Bible verses and singing Jesus loves me and and then I thought of Matthew I think it's 1912 somebody correct me but Jesus says in vain do they worship me teaching his doctrine, the commandments of men. And suddenly, it didn't seem like such a happy place anymore. Because it occurred to me, most of the people who sat in these pews and were otherwise decent, hardworking people and their neighbors their families are lost because they didn't hear the gospel of Jesus Christ they heard the doctrines of men so just keep that in mind that we're not saved by our own goodness we're not saved by good intentions we're saved by the blood of Christ and he must be obeyed at all times and if you're in a church that is not obeying even the smallest part of God's living word, you have to leave it. Even if that means leaving friends and family members and traditions. And, but you have to do it. This is the Church of Christ near you. Thank you for your time.